Okay, for a dominant trait like achondroplasia, right, which of the following are true? Remember, achondroplasia we learned about is dominant. So in the heterozygous condition, you'll have achondroplasia. In homozygous condition, it's actually lethal. So affected adults must carry a dominant allele. Well, that's true. If you're affected, you must have at least one of these dominant alleles. What about affected adults may carry a recessive allele? Well, that's possible too, right? You can be heterozygous. So you'd have one of uh, the dominant alleles and one of the recessive alleles. Unaffected adults must carry a dominant allele. That's not true at all, right? Because if you're unaffected, then you don't have one of these alleles. So you don't have a dominant allele if you're unaffected. And unaffected adults must carry a recessive allele. Well, that must be true, right? Because if you're unaffected, it means you don't have one of the dominant alleles that causes a chondroplasia. So the first, second, and fourth options are true.